Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an uh, amazing, positive week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Today we will be doing an African sunset. The inspiration was when my mom and dad went on vacation, they went to Africa for their honeymoon and these were on my wall as a baby. I really liked the pictures and how pretty they were and they were, but the animal we will be doing today is the elephant, but it's optional to choose any other animal. And so the picture that we'll be doing today is this one with the mama elephant and the baby elephant, but there will be some changes. I will not do the blue background because it will be a sunset, and then at the top, there will be a sun. I will even show you a cool trick. First, go to Google and search up an African photo, then go to Procreate and import it. As you saw in the original, this is the final product with the sunset and the sun. So now let's get started. So first, you're going to go to the plus button and press on that little one at the top. And the canvas will be three thousand pixels by two thousand pixels so now you have this and you're going to go to the oh and i forgot to mention that if you go to your bottom and go get the safari oh give me a second and if you get, go get the safari and hold it and just bring it to the side and get search up african sunset and press on any picture you want i'm just going to press on this random one and go to palettes and just hold it and it should go there oh wait so the palette's like all the colors so as you can see oh one more try last try and you just drop it there and now you have all the palettes all the colors in that picture so that was just a little tip i wanted to show you today so let's get started with the actual drawing so now you're going to get so now I'm just going to get rid of the safari and go to the red and get like not that much of a red. Just get a little bit of an orangey sort of like this. So now when you have this, you're going to go to when you have the brushes, you're going to go to soft airbrush and airbrushes and make sure it's 100% and the Octomacity and make sure and, and make sure the Octomacity is 68 and then you're going to make it just like very light there because we're going to make it a little lighter but not just don't go that hard not everywhere just mostly in a little place so you have stuff to put other stuff right for the gaussian blur so now you're gonna go there and make a lighter one oh that's really light we don't need that yellowish really so now we're gonna just go to this like go, go back to orange and make it a little lighter and just you don't really see it if it's a little lighter, but it doesn't matter. So now go to Ga go to the magic wand and press on Gaussian Blur. And now you'll have this. So now when you have that, you'll be done. And go back to the color palettes. And you will go to the black. Oh, not the black. Just get a, the new layer and press on the brown the blackish brownish no the brown so now you're gonna make the about 50 like the middle of the brush it's still the soft airbrush and just make it like a little mountain doesn't really matter like that mm, no it's too straight so let's just make it a little bigger so yeah now we have this and just I'm doing it like that oh yes that's good and now just colored it in. I'm just coloring it in. You can also just drag in the color and finishes. And then just go to the black at the bottom when you're done the brown. So, yeah. So now I really think I'm done the brown. But we're going to just add some more brown. Okay, that's a lot of brown. But let's make the brown at the top and the black at the bottom. Just go to the Gaussian blur now. Oh, you can't really see the mountain though. Okay, 
So just, just do the brown at the top and do the black at the bottom and we'll figure out what we can do next. So now you're going to go to the black and just do the rest of the black at the bottom. And so now we got it. So now go to the magic wand, press Gaussian blur. And now you have that. I really like it. And then just go back with, go to back to the brown, what brown you were using. And just do a straight line and just outline it so it's not like it was so blurry. So now we have that. And then you're going to go to brushes and press on the animals, the one that I have, which I will link in the description. And press on the baby elephant and make it about, let's say, hmm, how much should we make it actually? Um, okay, so now you have the baby elephant and make it about um, 7%, I think. And press, make sure it's a black, 7%. Oh, and make sure the third layer is behind layer two, so it's like that. So now, just make sure it's seven, and now you're gonna go back to the brushes and press on elephant two, and make sure it's a little bigger. Oh yeah, that's really tiny. So make it a little bigger, like 10, or maybe, yeah, 10's good, I guess. But the baby elephant is so big because it's almost as big as the other elephant. So we're gonna make that a little bigger about 13. Oh wow, that's really good. So now when you have that, oh yeah, that's actually really good. So now when you have that, you're gonna go to layers and get a layer four and put it on top of everything. Yep, yeah, and put it on top, no, 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 behind layer three and layer two. So when you're done, have that, you're going to go to the Calorie and Mono line. Oh guys, and just saying, this is for the trees if you want to add trees. I am not really want to add trees to this. I will remove it after. But if you want to do the trees while I be showing you, you can do that. Okay? So just follow if you want to do the trees. If you don't, just skip this part of the video to go to the next part after I take away the trees. So now go to air. No, not. Yeah, actually go to the airbrush, not the mono line, and make it about 13 or 14, and just make a little little stamp, like a little line, and then make it smaller and make branches. This is not the best. I know other people can do better, but everybody does good. I think everybody is doing amazing. Everybody is doing really good. So now... As the trees, you just want to keep adding branches. And then, oh, that's really wiggly. We don't need that branch, right? So now you're going to just keep adding branches. So just keep adding them if you want to do trees. This is the best one I can do, but I know people, you guys can also do different trees. But that's how I would do it. So now, after you do that, just go to the artistic and press on the leer, le leather wood and make it about 12% or 6, 6% and just put it around. Yeah, just put it around. So now, we'll just keep going. I'm... You're trying to make it the perfect size, but you guys can make it any size. So, hmm, mm hmm. Okay, so now you have that. Just keep doing with the trees and whatever you want. Hmm, okay. So I'm just doing that. So I'm just keep going. You guys just do this for your trees if you want to. So, yep, yeah, so this is how it will probably look like. Yeah, so this. Okay, so now you have that, but I'm just getting rid of it now. And I won't, so there will be no trees. But you guys can add a tree if you want. But I'm just, will be no trees. I will just try, show you if you want to make a bigger one. So just try to 
make a curvy line, press edit shape, and press on arc. Oh no. So just do a curving line and then press edit shape. And oh, it says eclipse, but that's not really working. But we'll use it, it's fine. And then do the other side. And oh, there's arc. And then don't make it that big. Yeah, about there. That's good. I like that. So now when you're done that, you are going to try to make the branches like how we did on the other mini tree and just try to keep adding the branches if you can. Okay, that one's really wiggly. I don't like it. So, um, so now you're going to just add the branches. I will not be doing this tree, but I will just be showing you how to make the bigger ones. So here is a branch you can make. Mine lines are not that straight, but you guys can do. So I'm just going to get rid of it now. And we were getting, going to get started with the sun. So now you want to go to the layers and get a layer four and make sure it's on top of everything. And you're going to go to colors and get a really light yellow. Go to yellow and get a really light one and just and then make a circle and hold it and you press on circle and then just fill it in and then you're going to go to layers and oh no did it wrong did it wrong so now you're going to go here and duplicate it and you're going to go to the magic wand press cause and blur and blur it about 24 28 or 24 so now it's really glowing that makes it really pretty and so after that you're gonna go to we're gonna get put clouds now so we're going to go to the organic or water i think it's in so not the trees the where is it um the rainforest clouds oh there it is so now you have that and you're going to make a line like Make it about like 30 or 20, 28 or 30. Oh, it's yellow. Don't make it yellow and make sure it's white. Like a white, white. Oh, that's, I don't actually like the white guys. So don't actually use the white. So go to white and go to the red, orangey-ish and go of light peach. Oh, that is actually so perfect. So guys, go get a peach and just make a line across it and just saying the clouds are behind the sun. So now you have this and that is, we are done with the clouds now. So yeah, so now we have that. Wait, I think we're done. Okay guys, you have done an awesome job. We just finished. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.